Good morning. Uh, today we have with us Chiamal Kibo, and I won't say very much. I'll just leave her to tell us a little bit about herself, and then uh, everyone else can make up their mind about what she says. Good morning, Chiamal. How are you? Fantastic. I'm great. I'm great. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself um, in terms of your business experience and your uh, background? And how you got into okay, uh, uh, Forever? Yeah, so I've okay, so got about um, 28 years work experience, 26 of which I spent in the financial services sector. And um, I worked in a bank, in one of the foremost uh, commercial banks in Nigeria, and then I worked with um, the largest non-bank financial institutions, an asset management company. In the last uh, six, seven years of my career in the, in the company, I worked as a managing director for two of our businesses. So I headed our asset management business for six years and um, headed, actually started and headed um, a distribution platform for the group. Um, I left that position in March 2016. Fantastic. Right, so um, essentially, uh, you're a corporate bird, basically, yes? Yeah. That's your background. So, and yes. so, I mean, what got you interested in forever? Okay, so um, well, how did you get I, interested in forever? Thing, I first encountered Forever in 2011 and I didn't really understand the opportunity. Nobody, the, the person that introduced the business to me did not explain anything about the business model nor the product. So, I, I mean, I just thought I was, you know, helping her out. But then last year, um, a good friend of mine, uh, whom I continue to pray for, you know, got me to attend one of those um, business opportunity meetings. Mm -hmm. I actually knew what I was going for, and I really had said to her that I was unlikely to be on, to be interested in the opportunity. However, it was free. I had nothing to lose, and I wanted to, you know, I was keeping my options open pretty much. And um, I sat way at the back of the uh, presentation hall. And I listened, and you know, while the speaker was making her presentation, I mean, maybe a third or a quarter of the way into her presentation, you know, for me, it clicked in my head. I knew immediately that I understood the opportunity. What what came to me was the word leverage. You know, I just understood that the business was about leverage. And so I, I decided to stop. All right. I mean, leverage. Hmm, thank you. You know the thing about leverage is this, right? I mean, perhaps you want to sort of explain uh, how you understood leverage from the point of view of the business to those who may be watching this video or listening to us. Okay. So for me, leverage is um, when you get paid for work that you didn't do directly. And... Um, so if you go back to the corporate world and you think about the way we're compensated, okay, um, you, would, you would find that you're compensated largely for the work you and your direct team do if you're a team leader. And um, it, typically that pay is cut, mm -hmm. right? Now, with forever, what I understood very quickly was that you get compensated for the work you do with your direct team and the work they go on to do and the work that team goes on to do add infinity, I mean, without limits. So to infinity, it can just go on and you, you still get compensated for it. And for me, what it meant was that I could teach people to run their business and have them grow as much as they want it to grow and I still get compensated from it for whatever it is that they've built up even to the hundredth generation I still get compensated for it. Right. So essentially yeah. unlike the corporate world 
where you got what you might call income caps or limits, right? There are no yeah. sort of limits when you leverage in in this sort of business, right? No, no, there are no also, limits. You can pretty much write your own check okay. and it can be as huge as you want, which is okay. really why we say that with Farah that you can achieve all your goals. You can achieve anything you set out so to achieve as option. a dream. All right, now, okay. fantastic. Okay, it all sounds very interesting. Um, people want to sort of say, okay, hang on, if I want to take this a little bit further, what do I need to do? Uh, how do I find out what, I mean, I live in New York, for instance, or I live in, in, in LA or, or New Delhi, or I mean, uh, Nairobi or Lagos, Nigeria. What do I do? How do I get on board? Well, you know, Farabra is a global business. Farabra can be run from any country in the world. Um, all 164 countries, if I'm not, not mistaken, as to the last count. And so it's pretty easy to run your business from anywhere in the world. Um, one of the things that technology has given us is the ability to have uh, remote meetings and remote presentations. So using technology, you can join a webinar. You can also click on a link on this video and be connected to a page where you can actually get registered as a business owner, you can send me an email and uh, you'll get registered as a business owner and you would have access to materials, training materials and videos that would help you start your business, that would train you and teach you what to do. So it's really quite simple. And uh, of course, there, wherever you are, there's most likely a forever office there. So you can get connected to the local community as well and build, continue to build your business and improve your skills from there. Beautiful. Gemma, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on today. Um, I'm pretty sure that we'll see more videos of you in the future. And um, like you said, uh, if folks want to get involved, there's a link below this video that allows you to um, get on board and um, we'll send you some more information. Thank you so much. Thank you.